Assalamu alaikum hope you all are well and doing great today we discuss about nitrogen metabolism so let's start the topic firstly we see outline the subtopic we, which we discuss today is metabolic fate of amino acid catabolism of amino acid diminution and transmission next nitrogen excretion and urea cycle regulation of urea cycle biosynthesis of amino acid and incorporation of ammonia in glutamate and glutamine so we start the topic with overview nitrogen is necessary element found in proteins nucleic acids and other biomolecules the metabolism encompasses many topics such as nitrogen fixation anabolism catabolism of amino acid and proteins etc so first topic we discuss metabolic fate of amino acid two possible fates protein synthesis and amino acid degradation we discuss about amino acid degradations there are main two stages of degradations of amino acid firstly amino acid converted into intermediate that have ability to enter into tricarboxylic acid cycle second is oxidation of intermediate by this cycle ammonia form in mammalian body by the degradations of amino acid and other nitrogen material is excreted in the form of urea form in liver we know that ammonia is very toxic to our cells so it converted into urea and then it released from our bodies in the form of urine next topic is amino acid catabolism the catabolism of amino acid is usually started by removing amino group which used in u- urea synthesis and it involved two chemical reactions diamination and transmination the carbon skeleton are formed by the standard amino acid are degraded to form seven metabolic products acetyl coa acetoacetyl coa pyruvate alpha ketoglutarate succinyl coa fumarate and oxaloacetate next diagram of amino acid catabolism phosphophenol pyruvate form pyruvate and then pyruvate form acetyl coa then it enter into citric acid cycle citrate isocitrate alpha ketoglutarate succinyl coa then form succinate fumarate malate and then form oxaloacetate oxaloacetate can form citrate so this cycle continue next topic is demination demination is the removal of amino group from amino acid formation of ammonia occur by the removal of amino group it catalyzed by enzyme deaminases the structure of amino acid amino group carbon skeleton amino group removed and it form ammonia which is toxic to cells it converted into urea which is non toxic to cell and excreted in the form of urine from our bodies next transmination transmination is the chemical reaction which transfer an amino group to keto acid for the formation of new amino acid transmination is the main pathway in degradation which convert essential amino acid to non essential amino acid transmination reaction in the diagram alanine plus alpha ketoglutarate in the presence of enzyme alanine amino transferase form pyruvate and glutamate next is nitrogen excretion and urea cycle nitrogen excretion includes ammonia urea and uric acids then is urea cycle this is the cycle of biochemical reaction that produce urea from ammonia it occur in urotelic organism here the diagram in mitochondria bicarbonates plus ammonia and atp in the presence of enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthetase form carbamyl phosphate which convert into citrulline then enter into urea cycle citrulline form arginosuccinate arginosuccinate can form fumarate or arginine arginine in the presence of enzyme arginase in the form urea and it can form only thin and then citrulline so this cycle continue next regulation of urea cycle regulation depend upon two factors amount of urea cycle enzyme and second is concentration of acetyl glutamate and ornithine amount of enzyme depend upon daily consumption of a protein and acetyl glutamate is the activator of carbamyl phosphate synthesis next topic is biosynthesis of amino acid synthesis of amino acid we discuss here table in which amino acid biosynthetic families grouped by metabolic precursors this table show that alpha ketoglutarate can form glutamate glutamine proline arginine pyruvate can form alanine valine leucine and isoleucine 
three phosphor glycerate can form serine glycine and cysteine and oxaloacetate can form aspirate theorene liacine and ribose five phosphate can form histidine so this is the cycle diagram in which amino acid biosynthetic form a family is shown next detailed diagram of biosynthesis of amino acid in which glucose can form glucose 6 phosphate and glucose 6 phosphate and form 3 phosphoglycerate and form phosphophenol pyruvate then pyruvate citrate can under citric acid cycle alpha ketoglutarate can form glutamate glutamine and oxaloacetate can form aspirate aspirin here we discuss about it so next is Next and last subtopic is incorporation of ammonia in glutamate and glutamine. Assimilation of ammonia requires two chemical reactions. Ammonia is incorporated into biomolecules through glutamate and glutamine. The diagram in which the cycle uh, reaction show the glutamate plus ATP can form glutamyl phosphate plus ADP and glutamyl phosphate uh, with ammonia form glutamate and the sum is glutamate plus ammonia plus ATP can form a glutamate and ATP in the presence of enzyme glutamine synthetase. Thank you for listening and watching my presentation. Thank you to all.